Okay, let's just make sure we are live, because the last time I started, I wasn't. Uh, anytime now, we'll get confirmation. Alright, there we go. Cool, we are live. Alright, let's kick this off. I am still <laughs> trying to save my Agamemnon. Uh, Ship of the line, which is currently flooding and taking on water and sinking oh too quickly. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna park it up and we're gonna see if we can get these couple of ships to take these out or these few enemies out as quickly as possible. So let's make that happen. Target this one, make sure we get good hits. We currently have a guest streamer with us, Spencer Rooney, who's giving me a hand at the moment. <laughs> Maybe not with the microphone though, please. Oh, she's got the cord. Oh dear. <laughs> this can only end badly. Um. But let's just see if we can take out these ships very quickly. a good thing that's what we want um. let's oh yeah okay ships enemy ships are not moving Someone's gonna take care of you, miss. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> we have a little one that needs some attention. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this quickly. Because this guy is sinking very quickly. do not have much time at all. We are getting shots in their powder cake. I think I pulled it off. Holy shit, I did. No shit sunk. That's what we like. Oh my god, I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> At least not the first try. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. 
we need to pay for the repair of all of our ships. Fortunately, we did get a decent chunk of money out of that. And make sure we were our cruiser. Well, uh, I guess. I don't know, stocked is probably the wrong word, but it'll do. <laughs> um, actually, before we do that, let's make sure. Uh, recruiting of people is nice and cheap. Uh, yeah, so we'll apply that one. Uh, and uh, it's one way you get more money for finishing. Oh yeah, that's good. We definitely needed that. Um, I reckon that's probably a thing we need. Let's say that. Okay, cool. Um, that should make this a little bit cheaper. Repair this, make sure we're crewed up. ships repaired and then we'll go to our next mission. <laughs> uh, might even have some money left over for repairs, who knows? I mean not repairs, upgrades. Upgrades are good. Uh, Okay. That's a new one. <laughs> That's also a new one. We got a few new ships out of it, so that's cool. Um, apparently we're pushing our weight limit on this one, so let's... um. Cut a bit of weight so we can do things. Like, make sure we have enough crew on board. <laughs> um, we'll come back to that. Hear that? We can do the same here. So this is just reducing the weight of all of our guns. Um, probably should buy a bunch of guns that are actually better. Let's do that. No point having shitty guns. <laughs> uh, where are we? These ones. Uh, what were we using actually? Yeah, that'll do. Um, now let's just make sure our land units are 
up to scratch, which they look pretty good. Um. Probably afford to bump up the number of those guys. Uh, I think that looks good enough. <laughs> Let's see what the next mission is anyway. Uh, we can assign a couple of ships to these, just um, quick uh, missions. And that's it. So we just take a little bit more damage there, but that's fine. We'll just quickly flick through some of these and make sure these are sorted. We lost a bit of crew, so we'll patch that up. Oh, we lost some officers. That's no good. Uh, actually, do we? Expensive, but. Oof. Um, let's go a little bit cheaper. Um, we're looking for this skill here. We'll train you up. <laughs> Wonder if we've lost any offices elsewhere. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, we lost someone here. Ah, uh, look. Let's throw someone good in there. Um. Okay. I think we actually went backwards after doing those missions, but so be it. Okay, use wooded use. Cool. Free ship, always good. <laughs> We're uh, losing money, which is not a good thing. But our expenses are high. But I don't know. If we win convincingly, it's probably okay. Let's take out uh, one of the new ones and let's take out the audacious sky. <laughs> a lot of guns.
Okay. Seems relatively straightforward. Let's, um, oh, they're already in a group. Okay, fair enough. Slip themselves out. Uh, where is their other group? Alright, come on, we need to move. I'm just gonna get them moving and then we'll figure out how to group them up. Oh my god, you useless bastards. Okay, after that schmozzle. Okay, we are getting more complicated. Good. Some enemy ships coming in to join the fight. That's fine, they don't look too strong. Oh, and of course the winds have changed, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely lining them up. Unfortunately, these ships are moving uh, very slowly. So we're just going to park at least these guys up in a second and just wait for them to roll in. 
these guys. We will turn into the wind as well and we'll drop some punishment on the enemy. <laughs> yeah, so let's anchor these guys up. So we'll roll into our, uh, I guess, it, attack area. Okay, yeah, definitely time to roll these guys around. So we want to make sure that um, whichever direction they're going, they're at least not pointing into the red. So we're just happily smashing away at these guys. That's cool. So our mission is to take out these guys. So we won't be too worried about uh, dealing with the guys on our right side there before we taken out one ship which is great we'll try and just get a little bit closer uh, where are we over here these guys are getting hammered They're not having a good day. These guys are about to have a terrible day as well. Let's make sure. Ah, oh, we have to capture this one as well. Thanks for the heads up. All right, let's send old big boy out to deal with that one. Uh, let's make sure we got our sails all down. Oops. So our ships over here are just killing it, which is great. Now we need to take out Caroline, which I think... Manchi. So that's the one we actually have to take out. And there's no guns on that one, so we can afford to creep a little bit closer once we take that ship out. We've got big boy catching or chasing down Pamoon, and then hopefully a couple of ships up here will deal with this group. Why have we only got sails partially down? It's very... Forget the group. Oh man, might have to take, let's take this ship as well and we'll sail straight downwind and see if we can, and then maybe catch these guys as well. Who's got a good top speed? None of these guys really. Uh, speed 9.3, 9.2. Okay, big boy is gonna be the one to do it. If anybody can, big boy can.
we really want to take out. Tell me they're gonna just escape. Okay, cool, this is good for us. Easy for us to get in nice and close and charge him down. Okay, cool. They've had to turn. Uh, we've pretty much dealt with that. That's sorted, we just need to... Yeah, I mean that's taken care of there, which is good. Uh, yeah, we just need to take out this ship. Uh, let's hold our fire until we get a good line on Moon. And fire away. laser beam of cannon fire. That's what we like. Sorry, we'll let big boy do all the hard work. They actually got to the pretty much the edge of the map, so I'm not sure they were trying too hard to escape. We definitely don't want our ship to go out of the map and retreat. That would be bad. Taking out two others, we'll just take out this one and then we'll be off scot free. Uh, done. Nice and easy. minor repairs that's ah, fun uh, 
and the rest of our ships are all good, I think. Almost. Okay, that should be fine. Um, it's a few missions to do. Let's try and do a land battle if that's an option. Let's try this one. Just save. Always save the game. Ooh, okay. So we are defending. How about that? Take those guys in and take our big boy crew in as well. So what are we doing? Okay, so we basically just have to defend against an attack by the look of things. Okay, this should be pretty good. Um. Now, what does the terrain look like? <laughs> it's not great, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking it's some dragoons, that's cool. Um, I'm thinking we put some til artillery. Oof, no, it's pretty down the hill there. Let's put them in there. Uh, who else have we got? These guys. Somewhat elevated, and at least they've got a decent view. Uh, we've got some mortars here as well. We'll sit them up in this tree line. <laughs> Now we probably need to cover this flank as well. I'm sure that won't uh, be ignored. So let's let's throw some cannons in there. Oof! Actually, no. Let's throw them up on this hill here. Um, and then, as far as our divisions go, let's throw. So these are all of our, um, uh, well, mostly our big boy crew. I think we'll mostly try and use, we'll include that Marines um, group in there too. We'll treat those as group one. There'll be a reserve. Um, and then we're gonna have so we've got supplies too, we'll just get them to sit back there for the moment. Call that group one, or group two I should say. And that will be our other group. So they'll look after our, they'll be doing most of the hard work. Yeah. 
Alright, where do we want them positioned? Somewhere like that. No. Probably more like that. And this group I have over here, I think. Let's see how that goes. Uh, Dragoons, we might throw uh, down here in case we flank slash counter flank. And we'll see how we go. We can probably, we'll move these guys up a bit close to the action. Uh, what are the types of land units? So, well, we've got skirmishes. <laughs> so, despite um, them saying the attack's going to come from that direction, apparently it's coming from over here. How about that? Um, take care of those skirmishes. So, the types of land units. To be honest, they're all pretty similar. Um, so let me quickly go through them. So for the most part, um, your fu fusiliers, uh, your basic sort of infantry, nothing. Uh, look, they're the cheapest unit, basically. That being said, uh, it really depends on what guns you give them because you can give yeah, you can basically pick which guns uh, you give to each unit. Some guns are more expensive and are better, and that will make your unit better. But they're sort of the basic one. Grenadiers are your elite sort of unit. They're a much more highly skilled infantry, um, good at melee and that sort of thing. Uh, and then I've got some marines here somewhere, yeah. And they're sort of like your average middle of the road um, sort of unit. But to be honest, once you uh, get them all a bit of experience, they're not too different. Um, so yeah, um, uh, that's what I've found anyway. Like to be honest, it really depends on how you use them as well. If you get them in good positions, then it doesn't matter too much whether you've got grenadiers or fusiliers. Uh, they're all gonna cause a lot of trouble for the enemy. Now we want to get out of here before Marines get in range to shoot us. So we are going to get flanked here, uh, so we'll rearrange our infantry to deal with that and we'll bring our reserves in to just cover off that flank. Fortunately that artillery has line of sight down that way as well which is good. Dragoons over here to deal with those skirmishes there. Leave one unit over here to mop up some units over here if we need to. Might 
actually just get this guy up on the hill here to see what's happening up above. I'm going to move our supply cart over to this artillery because they're doing all the hard work at the moment. Make sure these guys are shooting. some artillery coming back our way. Oh, no, we've got to be careful here. Oh man, they're pushing in on our flank. Okay. If that is what's going on. Uh, let's pull some of these. Let's pull these grenadiers over. Let's move our artillery. And now where are we going to move them? Let's try moving there. They might have decent line of sight. Who knows? Uh, these guys. Let's try keep them in the trees for a bit of extra cover. These guys will shuffle along just so we're not super exposed. What we do? Our fusiliers. Oops, skirmishes in there in the mix as well. Let's get our dragoons out of the way. Uh, we'll get our mortars to hit this group here because they're nice and tightly grouped. Uh, let's get our Dragoons to chase these guys down. Okay, we're, I feel like we're a little bit on the back foot here. Let's, we need to take out the, those artillery pieces because otherwise in the long run they're gonna wear us down. Uh, now over here, what do we got? Let's, Let's push these guys up. Uh, these guys. 
let's reset. Because we're gonna get hit again. Mortars are doing the right thing. Get our artillery in a position where we can hit something. Those guys are pushing up. Officers, which is never good. Uh, let's try and take out that guy. Except not when it's uh, over to help here. sure these guys are shooting these guys let's get these guys to help here they can sort those guys out these guys are doing the right thing okay I should go too quickly let's get these guys back in the fight Reserve unit is becoming less of a reserve unit and more of the uh, main fighting force. <sighs> Let's hit these skirmishes. Is our artillery doing anything? Nah. Move that up. These guys are out of ammo. Wonderful. I feel like... <laughs> It's dumb. Like, we were basically told, hey, set up here, but really they want you to set up here, I believe. Further up. Ooh, well. Uh, let's try and get that supply cart over to these guys. Uh, we need to reset.
we're going to yeah just come back to here Charged. <laughs> Should have been patient. They're out of ammo. No bueno. This is not going well, but. doing oh man we're losing uh, expensive units I feel like we've got a long time to defend this thing. I've kind of given up on this to be honest. It's not looking good. Um, Alright, let's try again. Not a fan of how that played out. Go same same ships and units to start with. We'll just uh, try and deploy them better. So I think what we want to do, because I'm sure, yeah, you can actually use those as defensive positions, which I'd say is probably a good thing. We'll put our cannons on higher ground. Uh, so that's one cannon. Yeah, we know that they're definitely going to push in from that side. I reckon we probably let them to an extent. And put another cannon in there. Put a last cannon here. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna put some fuselies down here just to defend this route. Um, okay. We don't want these guys who are our elite units to die. So, I think we'll put them over here this time. This didn't seem as difficult. We'll use a mix of these fusiliers. Yes. Um, grenadiers. Uh, let's. We want to take them up there, actually. Uh, so that'll be our second group. This will be our third group. We're going to sit these guys in the trees here. Uh, mortars we also need to place, which are these guys. We'll drop them in the field there. We're just going to try and scout this out fairly quickly. First group. Let's push them up that road. So at the moment we can see what the Dragoons can see. So that is helpful. One of these Grenadiers units we're going to put down here in the trees. These guys will sit up here. Grenadiers, we want those guys in cover. We want them to run into those positions. Um, not sure where we put these guys to be honest. Uh, let's just have them sit back a little bit in case we need them elsewhere. Wonder. 
Let's get our Dragoons together. We might be able to hit their artillery. Get these supplies to move up to here. so far which we haven't done too much hey nicholas thanks for following i reckon this looks a little bit better even though it's a little less i don't know linear <laughs> i think uh hopefully we'll do a better job of holding these guys off Might actually be able to push these guys hard and take out that artillery. We'll see how we go. This cannon has decent uh, range or view, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, I mean, they can see all of that, so that's pretty good. What we'll actually get these guys to do is focus on their artillery. Same thing here, focus on the artillery. I'm not sure why these guys aren't shooting back. No, you're just going to be target practice. Uh, okay. Alright, we need to push these guys up. Uh, what we'll do is get out goons let's get them into a position where we can rush their artillery should put them in their own group So these guys have softened up that artillery well enough. We get these guys to hit them and hopefully take that out.
take out that. That all happened there. These guys are getting absolutely crushed at the moment. Um, let's get these guys to move up and hit those guys on the flank. That's fine. Okay, we took out one lot of artillery. We'll get these guys to charge these guys in the back. What happened to uh, these guys? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. We are gonna get these guys to focus here now. Where actually can we get shots? Shots down there is probably better. These guys to focus here. These two guys. Let's get them to reform that line. Okay, that hasn't gone well. We're gonna get these guys to fall back. These guys just to form a line. These guys will form a line here too. Oh, bastards, really? Could have retreated, you losers. Okay, we'll get those guys out of the way. Okay, we need to give these guys a rest, so let's get them out.
Okay. Get these guys out of the way. We need to focus on these guys. Ammo, hey. Let, all right, let's get you resupplied. I feel like we're supposed to just literally sit up here, but I don't know. Ridiculous. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrap up there because this battle's taken way too long. Um, we'll have another crack at it in the next stream. Unfortunately, didn't quite go to plan. I think next time we're literally just gonna set up like a ring defense in this field. We'll see how that goes. Okay. 